Just one day after a pretty contentious Senate hearing where lawmakers blame social media CEOs for the negative effects that their platforms have on teenagers' mental health, News for Jack says new information about a lawsuit filed by a Clay County family against the LGBTQ social networking and dating site called Grinder. The parents of an underage Clay County boy blamed the platform for their son's death. And according to lawyers, this federal case could set a precedent for other grieving families. And America's biggest and most profitable social media giants and online dating platforms be held responsible for the deaths of their users if they're under the age of 18. According to a lawsuit filed by the family of a Clay County boy referred to only as AV, his access, download, use, purchase, and subscription of grinder services resulted in severe emotional distress and bodily injuries, culminating in his death from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The real question is, you know, did the social, did Grindr know that they were dealing with a minor? Former federal prosecutor Curtis Fallgratter says the family of the plaintiff filed the case in federal court because they are relying on a federal statute called the Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act, which protects sex trafficking victims. The plaintiff claims Grindr made no reasonable attempt to verify whether AV was 18 years old and failed to implement adequate safeguards to prevent the minor from accessing Grindr because such actions are not in the defendant's financial interest, alleging Grindr intentionally allowed underage users to access, download, and subscribe to services, and in turn, serve them up on a silver platter to adult users, intentionally seeking to sexually groom them or engage in sexual activity. The plaintiffs never state the deceased age at his time of death. Seems to me they seem to be a little light on some of the connections to how the social media platform would have known it was a minor. That's something I would think the federal judge would want to have uh, some proof of, you know, for there to be a nexus to establish that this, that they're profiting from trafficking with minors. Your product is killing people. Will you personally commit to compensating the victims? You're a billionaire. A day after social media CEOs were grilled about their platform's alleged negative impact the on underage teens' health by congressional leaders, anyway. News for Jax has learned that Grinder has requested the judge dismiss the lawsuit, which was filed in 2022. Do you think the current climate regarding uh, social media and its effects on children works in the favor of the plaintiff? Not necessarily. If there's some change in legislation, you know, it wouldn't be made retroactive. So the liability or not of uh, Grinder back, uh, you know, 2020 at the time of the death uh, would be determined by whatever standards, legal or otherwise, existed at the time. The lawyers who filed the lawsuit uh, haven't replied to requests for public comment, and neither has Grinder, which is based in West Hollywood, California. A judge is expected to rule in the coming weeks or days on whether this case should go to trial or whether it should be dismissed, as Grinder has put in a motion for.